Hi, Click here with Click Trick number one, degassing wine. I see a couple different methods on YouTube of people uh, degassing wine. Uh, one guy's using a stir stick on the end of a drill bit, a uh, white plastic uh, stir that he puts down in the carboy. It spins and uh, brings, the, brings the gas to the surface that way. Well, I didn't have one of these stir sticks, so I thought to myself, what could I use in this place? And here's what I came up with. I started off with one of these, an uh, ordinary plastic coat hanger. I cut it, I cut it here, and I cut it here. So I have this long piece with the curve at the end. Okay. I then boiled some water, put the end of it in some boiling water so I could bend it any way I wanted, softened it up, and this is what I came up with. A wine degassing stir stick. Total cost, zip. The next method I saw on YouTube was a guy using a uh, brake bleeder. I think it's a reverse brake line bleeder for an automobile. Um, put it on the carboy. It creates a negative pressure in the in the carboy, which brings the carbon dioxide to the to the surface. It uh, looked like it worked pretty well. That got me thinking. And then there's another guy that's using a. Uh, it's a little pump that you put on a wine bottle when you don't finish a bottle of wine and it, you take the air out of the wine bottle with it. Uh, place that on top of the carboy. That works pretty well. It looked like it did anyway. I see other guys using, uh, uh, what do they call them, seal meals. It, you know, to suck the air out of bags to uh, cryopack food. Putting that on a carboy and creating a vacuum and taking the carbon dioxide out that way. So those three things got me thinking about this whole creating a, a, a negative vacuum inside the carboy and taking the carbon dioxide out that way. I didn't have any of these things, so I thought to myself, how can I make a vacuum in, in my carboy? And it took me a day or so, and I thought, hmm, why not use a vacuum to create a vacuum? So I got my little vacuum here, and I duct taped an airlock on the end of it. So now all I do is I take this, put it in my carboy where the airlock goes, turn on the vacuum, voila, degassing. Works pretty good. I think next time I do it, I'm going to use a shop vac, a stronger vacuum, and really degas it quick. So there you have a couple of clip tricks on degassing your wine, and uh, happy degassing, and keep your eye out for other clip tricks in the future. Thank you. Bye.